guys, welcome back to Kid and Shed. So, once again, I'm going to do another review. So, this is obviously Work Zone Special from Audi. I know it doesn't really sound the best quality, but believe it or not, it's actually pretty good for what it is. Anyway, so today I went ahead and picked up a 350 watt 8 inch bandsaw from Audi. Only 80 quid. I could do with a really quick, cheap one, which I can just use uh, for future projects. Nothing really big or special about it, just a normal 240. Um, straight out of the wall obviously we'll be getting a bigger one when we can alright so we'll go ahead and open the box just drop the screw so I am um, currently in the workshop have a fairly old Delta bandsaw so you're probably thinking well, why the heck would I uh, one an Audi one, not even a Delta one. Well, the Delta one needs quite a bit of work done to it. And uh, I'll explain that later. Anyway, so, very well packaged. Alright, so, obviously we've got the instruction manual, so we'll read that in a minute. Most of that's probably safety. Alright, so it also includes a uh, free plastic push stick fence it actually feels really good quality to believe it or not so little cam mechanism fence and it is somewhat a double lock so we'll just go ahead and put them there and then it comes with some screwdrivers and stuff to actually assemble it and uh, obviously here's the table this is actually really heavy so that's decent quality and again, remember this is only 80 quid. Right, so what I think we'll do is stand up on its end and um, just slide it out. So if I just zoom back a bit, there you go. So if we go ahead and uh, just pull it out. Right, just trying to move it straight out of the box. Good, so it was starting a bit of cardboard as well. Really heavy duty cardboard, actually. Alright, so we'll go ahead and uh, push that out of the way. So if we just go. There we go. So obviously, there the bandsaw is. And then here's all the other things that come in the box with it. If I just zoom down a tiny bit for you. Sorry how I like sort of throwing together this video is. Anyway, so obviously. We'll move this top piece of plastic iron, and um, the build quality is actually superb for what it is, anyway. All right, so we'll go ahead and assemble it. It seems fairly simple. All right, so in the um, instruction manual, it has a somewhat step-by-step -step diagram. So I'll just follow that and uh, assemble it. All right, so we'll just go ahead. And start the assembly. So I think first thing first, we'll just get the table out of its plastic. Right. So that's a, a thing. All right. I think we'll just look at the instruction manual. Um, DNC. I'm guessing we have just have to undo this bolt then. I think. Oh ooh, yeah, that's covered in oil, and I'll just put my hand on that. Right, um, obviously all the bearing guides, uh, kind of puzzled here actually, just a lot about warranty, and then, I think we're just going to have to, uh, somewhat use our brain here. So we'll get the uh, tools out as well. So flathead, allen keys, and a little spanner. All right, so I'm guessing this spanner is for here. Yep, that is, okay. All right. So 
So from what it looks like, we don't have to uh, put the blade in. So we should just do that. Obviously there's the blade, nice and sharp. Right, and uh, just for the sake of it, before we actually assemble it, I think we will go ahead and unlock the uh, housing cabinet. So we've got a dust extraction port. So it's just rubbing on that side a bit tiny. Apart from that, it's fine. And that's sitting up here. All tracks really nicely from what it looks like. So we'll go ahead and uh, shut this. There we go. Haven't shut that properly, have I? There we go. Okay, I think top one's a tiny bit loose. Maybe I'm not pushing it in enough. Okay, I think that's it. Um, so overall, I'm a bit confused on how this goes together, but I'll have a quick look. Right, so I've finished building it, literally took five minutes. There's just the two table adjustment bolts on the back, which you just have to unscrew and put on. And I've also put the rip fence on. The rip fence is a tiny bit slidey, just because of the metallic surface of the table. But overall, the actual rip fence is fairly decent. So here is somewhat the moment of truth. I've plugged it in. It hasn't fused the house, so that's a good start. Let's turn it on and just see what happens. Let's take it off. You. Sounds good to me. Especially for 80 quid anyway. So, you'll definitely see this in some of my project videos if I don't break the blade within 10 minutes. Uh, and hope you look forward to the next one. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one.